Hi guys, Oliver here from Spitfire Audio with a quick look for our newest library, the Spitfire Solo Strings. It's the long-awaited missing piece of the puzzle to complete your symphonic range. It's definitely a must if you already own chamber strings or any other of the symphonic libraries. This is the library to write beautiful solo passages and highlight your details. It is recorded at air and blends beautifully with your existing libraries. However, you have the choice of the close mics to really get that solo feeling and detail out of it. Let's take a closer look what's in the library. So we've recorded three different violins, so you have three different characters of the violins. Uh, Paul will go more into detail in his walkthrough. Uh, so we've got the virtuoso violin, we've got the first desk violin, and we've got a progressive violin. Then we've got the viola, the cello, and the bass. And as usual, you've got an advanced uh, folder here where you can access your individual articulations uh, right away and also save a bit of memory if you're struggling uh, with it or your computer struggles with it. So I've loaded uh, cello flautando, favorite patch, and I'm just going to give you a little taster. Just uh, for you to check the mic positions, this, that was the tree, if we go a bit closer. Beautiful sounding, if you want more of the hall, go to your ambient mic. get a really really lovely tail. Let's play some normal longs. I'm going to stick to the tree mic for now. Let's get rid of the vibrato as well for now. Sort. I always love some harmonics. Let's address some short notes, staccato here. Spiccato, slightly tighter and shorter. Uh, let's try out some tremolo and then we move on to the next instrument. And lovely how you can hear the hole there uh, in the tail. Uh, let's check out some violins, but actually let's quickly go onto the legato patch here. First desk violin legato, just kind of mid expressivo. Quite beautiful to play. Let's check out some other patches, uh, some of the viola patches. Long progressive, actually, I find really cool. So you get kind of the vibrato played already rather than controlling it. So 
So kind of starting non-vip and then going in, into vip, very useful for uh, more kind of emotional and expressive kind of passages, some pits. Um, and then let's go into individual articulations because in here we've got something like mandolin pizzicato, which I just played before, which is quite cool. It's quite cool, a little bit sharper. And then let's check out some of the bass. I'm just going to load the main patch here, just normal longs. Awesome. And then the pits, which is going to be really useful. So the pits of the bass is finally here. I would always use a bit of close mic just to get that clarity of the pits. Lovely, warm, round uh, sounding bass there. Cool, that was it. I hope I could give you a quick overview. If you want it in more detail, please check out Paul's walkthrough, check out the inactions, the contextual demos, the other demos on the website. And if you have any questions, please let us know in the comment section and we're happy to help you out. Thank you very much. Take care. Bye-bye.